Hey Aries, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 11th of August, 2024. Messages for Aries. What does Aries need to know? I'll just move all the cards out of the road. The moon. The ten of wands. The queen of swords. The seven of coins. The eight of cups. Center of the reading. The queen of coins. The Eight of Wands. The Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay. Aries. I'll grab out some clarifiers for you and then we will get stuck into the reading. The moon, hopping out of your emotions and moving forwards on a new journey. You may not see everything that's in front of you, but this is, I feel, there's a pull, okay? What's the moon? You're being pulled in this direction. You have the three of cups. The wheel of fortune, so there could have been a cycle that ended. And it could have involved a third party. I feel like a lot of fast movement after this, though. There's people taking all these cups and the cycle is, you know, being shut down. I feel like you may not know all the answers, but you're leaving this situation, okay? So what is the Ten of Wands? You have the Knight of Swords. So moving forwards quickly... Okay, this could have been something that was a lot of effort, time in your life. You've got the Seven of Cups. There could have been illusions, wearing rose-colored glasses, but there's this quick movement forwards of dropping these burdens and moving on from the situation. You know, Aries, you now sit here in this Queen of Swords energy, someone that, you know, has been through a lot in their life. Will cut people off if need be. What's the Queen of Swords? You have the Six of Cups. But then there's these memories. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, this could be you. This could be someone else. Take, take it how it resonates. But I feel like you and this person are probably thinking about each other. This could be you thinking about the past. Okay. Thinking about the past love with this person. You know, the good times also. There's this thinking about the good times. Reading old letters or messages or something like that. But there's something about thinking about the good old times. But you are still sitting in Queen of Swords energy. Um, you may think about these memories and this person. But you know this wasn't right. So for the Seven of Coins, you have the Magician. There's something you're working on though, Aries, something that you've started. Could be a commitment, could be a union with somebody, someone that you're working with, with the King of Pentacles coming out on the back of the deck. Earth energy. Someone that, yeah, there's some type of work, someone being told what to do by a boss. So there's like this Virgo energy could also be significant, but there's like a union, a coming together of, uh, people working together. So things like you're getting down to business now, even though you may be thinking about the past, uh, but you are working on something new with somebody in your life. So whether it be platonic or love, what's the eight of cups? You have the six of wands. So leaving that past situation is bringing you to this very moment. It's bringing you into success also, Aries, okay? Leaving something that could have hurt. You know, you do still think about the emotions at times. 
You know, but people cheer you on as you leave that situation and you're going to be walking into success. What's the queen of coins here? You have the three of pentacles. So queen of coins, earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Something to do with stability or working. And then you've got the knight of wands. There could be someone coming in that's wanting to protect you, give to you, wanting to start a beginning, some type of collaboration. This is something that I feel you and this person are both passionate about. As I said, Earth energy could be significant, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but as I keep saying that um, you're leaving a situation and you're coming together in some type of new collaboration here but everything is happening for a reason it's supposed to be happening this way what's the eight of wands for aries <clears throat> you have the two of swords and the seven of pentacles there is something coming towards you something you don't see something that there was some effort spent on it, okay? It could be the past. Some type of messages. Something that you chose in the past, but you're closed off to now. You're going to be receiving some messages about it in the future. What's the Seven of Wands here for Aries? You have the Hermit. person could be bringing in conflict with this message and the four of pentacles they could be bringing in clarity okay this person may want to work on having a stable home with you someone that's wanting to fight for this situation someone that could have virgo in their chart they may have been in hermit mode someone that's gone deep within But they're coming in with some type of messages. I feel like they don't want you to leave the situation. I feel like they want to work on it. What's the Seven of Swords for Aries? So whether you choose this or not, you've got the Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands on the back of the deck. This person from the past, they could have some type of third party that they aren't, that they aren't letting go of. I feel like they try to hide this from you also, but there is like a new beginning coming in here. You've got the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. I feel like it's this person, this person that you're working with. I feel like they're coming in with something emotional i feel like they're going to tell you some type of truth with the seven of swords coming out i feel like this is going to make you leave a situation okay seven of swords ghosting um but there is this there's a choice that you need to make you've got someone coming in that wants to work with you but then you've also got this as i said there's something from the past someone that doesn't want to let you go someone that's holding on for dear life but you make that choice and i feel like you're going to choose this newer energy because of this manipulation in your energy with the past aries Let's do these two cards on the back of the deck. You've got the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups, this new beginning in your life with someone that's been holding back emotion, could have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they don't have to. What's the King of Cups here for Aries? You have the Four of Wands. So this could be someone that you're married to um whoever this is i feel like this is that person collaborating that's been holding back they've got a plan okay this could be a soulmate 
You've got the King of Cups coming out again and the Seven of Wands. This person's going to fight for this opportunity, this commitment, this victory with you. They could be worried about you starting a new beginning with the past energy. What's the Ace of Cups? Because I feel like they're going to come in. They feel like time's running out. What is the Ace of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune. So Sagittarius energy could be significant, but there's a new turn on the wheel. I feel like this new emotional beginning is going to close that old cycle out. You've got the hanged man. So Pisces energy is really coming out. Someone didn't want to let you go, but you're closing that chapter. And then you've got the three of pentacles. So you could be working with this person, but this person wants to bring in stability. King of pentacles energy. Could be a boss. It could have something to do with the material world okay that's really coming out aries i'm gonna leave it there thank you all for coming to my reading if this is your first time welcome just remember all my readings are timeless so if you ever want to check out my channel there is a playlist for aries i'm also doing personal readings so if you'd like a personal reading from me check out the link in the description below but i love you all so much and i'll see you all again soon Bye bye